differentiate f of x is equal to x squared from first principles. This is one of the, like, one of the most fascinating things about uh, calculus. I'm going to use an app called GeAlgebra to help me explain this. Here I have the curve, the green one here, f of x is equal to x squared. And the point p here is at the point 1, 1. And the point, what I need to do is take a po point close to it in order to illustrate the point. But I'm going to take a point at 3, 9, this point Q here, okay? And this distance from here to here I'm going to call Pn, which we're going to call H, in order to relate it to the algebra. And we can very easily uh, verify that this distance here is 8, 9 minus 1. And we can verify that H here is actually uh, 2 because the x coordinate is 3 and the and 1 here, so 3 take away 1 is 2. This slider here relates to the x coordinate of this particular point here. Now, uh, from our introduction of calculus, now the gradient of the curve is represented by the tangent here. We can see well, from this equation, y is equal to mx plus c, that is tangent, its gradient must be 2. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this blue line here, this blue dotted line, and join it to the point Q. All right, and we're going to say that this blue dotted line approximates to the gradient of the tangent, which is the red line here. Obviously, it's not a very good approximation at the moment. So what I can do is I can move the point Q closer to P, therefore reducing the size of the distance called H. I do that by moving this slider, which I'm going to do now. And as I move it slowly, so this changes the x coordinate. So the x coordinate, you can see what happens here. At the bottom here, you can see the value of the gradient. And we, what we can see that the blue line, as we move this closer and closer and closer, is approximating to the tangent line. And when it's exactly the same place, it will represent the tangent. Now I can move it a bit more slowly. I, let me just. And what I need to do is make the distance h. So h is very, very small now. It's 0 0.08. And you can see that the gradient, once we work it out, is 2.08. And I can move it closer and closer. I don't want to do it too much. Okay, until it's virtually on the point. I click on past the point. Okay, that's very, very close. I, can, I don't know if I can move it. There, it's point 0.1. Okay, so we've only got the correct to do to the group. So I can see, as it actually approximates here, the gradient actually approximates here to 2. And you can see that the blue dashed line actually nearly coincides with the tangent. And this is what we're doing when we differentiate we're, um, by, from first principles. Now, let's have a look at some of the algebra behind this idea. So if I go back to my drawing... There's a static version of what I've just done. Okay, so the gradient is this distance divided by this distance. So the gradient is going to be equal to nq divided by pn. And if I call this point x, some general point now, x f of x, and we've, what we do, we say that this point is close to it, such that it's x plus h, x plus h, and this one will be f of x plus h. Now we can say that this distance here will be f of x plus h minus f of x. And that this distance here will be x plus h minus x. Obviously we can see that the x's will cancel out. That one x will cancel with that one. And we'll be left with f of x plus h minus f of x. Divided, divided by h. And what we did, we moved this very, very, very close. All right, and what we did, we made h very, 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 very small, but not actually equal to zero, because if we do that, we can't actually divide by zero. So we make it infinitely very, very, very small. And that allows us to find the gradient of this line at that particular point, which is approximately equal to two. So algebraically, this is what we say. f dash of x, this is what we call the gradient function. It's going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of, that, of, of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now, if I want to take out that function, f of x is equal to x squared. And 
I now want to find the gradient function of it, I do the limit of f, x, f of f x plus h, which is x plus h all squared, minus the function itself, which is x squared, divided by h. And now what I'm going to do algebraically is expand, expand that. So the limit as h goes to 0 of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, that's, that's expanded, minus x squared divided by h and what we can see is that the x squared will cancel with that x squared so that that will disappear and we can see also that we have a common factor in the numerator here of h. So I'm going to take that out. So we've got h 2x plus h over h and what we can see now is that these h's will cancel and I can actually cancel it because h very, very close to zero, but not actually zero, because if it was equal to zero, I wouldn't be able to divide, I wouldn't be able to cancel. So it's very, 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 very small, and therefore they will cancel, and we're left with the limit as h goes to zero of 2x plus h. And now what we really say is a little trick here, we say h is so small that we will actually ignore it, and we'll say that the gradient function is 2x. And if I went back to that drawing, Okay, as h was very, very small, it says 0 0.01, the gradient here you can see is tending towards 2. And if I go back to this, if I put 1 in here, the value of the x coordinate, 2 times 1 is 2, so we can get the gradient of the 2. And if we go back to the the drawing we can see that the, the, the tangent actually has does have a gradient of 2 this is the, the equation of this line so it's it's a uh, equation using y is equal to mx plus c m is 2 so the gradient is actually 2 but just repeat what we do then you see uh, geometrically what we do is we take this point q and we move it closer and closer and closer 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 to p and we can see as we do move it closer if we do move it closer, it approximates towards it approximates towards two. Okay, that's probably as close as we could probably get. Okay, and this is where h is zero point zero one. So that's a brief introduction to uh, differentiation and from first principles from an algebraic perspective and a geometrical perspective. I hope you've enjoyed this video.